you'll have, uh, most of you are managers of some sort. Managers of people, that's kind of one of the things of the MBA, right? What here do managers do? <laughs> We're really good at having meetings, aren't we? Right. Organize. Okay. Organize. They talk. Good listen. Okay. Ah, ah. Thank you. Listen. Transparent. They empower. Result oriented? Uh, results oriented. Okay, uh, yeah. We'll call that focus. That way it captures goals, it captures. Uh, On the failures? What's that? On the failures? Own their failures. What team's failures Caring. Caring. Delegate. Curious. What are the key differences between? Managership and leadership. Leaders create change. Leaders create change. We've got change. Is even change even up here? Change. Leaders are focused on change. What are managers focused on? Managing the change. Managing the change. Okay. <laughs> yes. Managing the change. Absolutely. Yeah, but results. Results, okay. So, taking the vision of change and translating that into actual change. So, is, is it even possible to be a leader with zero management responsibility and zero management capability? No, why not? Does it leave, uh, I mean, as a leader, people talk about, you know, identifying a change or you know, making people believe in a vision or something, you still have to somehow manage how you communicate that to your followers. So you still have to manage your followers, I guess. Okay. So there is some piece of management that will definitely come in, I would say. Yeah, on just being a manager, right. no leadership, or just being a leader, it's zero management. I don't right. think that. So you want to even reach that stage. Ah, that so your suggestion is that in order to be a good leader, you need to value, respect, understand, and at least partly know how to do management, even if you're not doing it at that point in time. Correct. Conversely, to be possibly a good manager, you need to understand, respect, and at times be able to do leadership. Yes. Okay, all right. I'll buy that. As you're moving from managership to leadership, are you adapting? Are you able to step away from the control roles and, and the managing, the organizing, and move towards the disorganizing, the changing direction, the inspiring people, getting people to think outside of the box to do something different than everyone else has done before. Because uh, it's a very different competency. And we're not necessarily all good at doing it. And sometimes when we are trying to be leaders, that potentially undermines our ability to be managers as well. A and vice versa, right? When we're trying to inspire a vision, but then we say, OK, well, it's time for your annual appraisal. <laughs> <laughs> annual appraisal's not so much an inspiring vision, but definitely part of management. Right? So for you guys, there's this, there's this balance to be struck between the control and the alignment and the systems and the organizing and the inspiration and the direction.